So how can we make sure that our home is in tip top shape for the summer season? Well, here with some summer maintenance tips are the hosts of today's homeowner television show and my friends Danny Lipford and his daughter Chelsea Lipford Wolf. You guys, thanks so much for being back with me. Hey, glad to be with you, Tina. Yeah, thanks for having us. Well, we love you and we love you even more because you guys always have the perfect tips for us. Where do we start maintenance wise? Well, if you have a wood deck, that's one place that you really need to do a close inspection to see if there's any loose handrails or loose stairs. If you find anything like that, get some long deck screws and tighten everything up. You'll also want to make sure if you have any nails sticking up that can grab your toe there as you walk by and pull it out. Don't nail it back in and replace it with a good deck screw as well. And then here's another quick thing for you to do is to pour a cup of bleach down the drain line of your air conditioning unit. And you'll find the drain line near the inside unit. I know mine's in my attic, but that'll keep the drain cleared out and your air conditioner won't back up and shut off on you. And here's one thing on the list that you wouldn't expect. Call your chimney sweep. Have him come out and clean and inspect your chimney and your fireplace. Hey, the guys aren't busy right now. They may even give you a cut on the pricing of it. They're readily available. They'd be glad to get your phone call this time of the year. And Tina, I don't know if you like cleaning windows, but it's a chore I don't think anyone likes. And all you, a quick tip is to use vinegar and water, a 50-50 solution, and it's going to help give you a streak-free shine, especially if you use newspaper instead of paper towels, because those can leave behind a little bit of residue. You see who's doing all the work around uh -huh. here. You know, it just <laughs> happens that way. But, but it's also good if you have someone inside as you're on the outside to make sure nobody is missing anything there. Real, real easy way of cleaning that. And when you talk about other cleaning, cleaning furniture, you know, you're able to clean uh, whether you have wood furniture like this, that uh, these are chairs that Chelsea and I built a few years ago, or you have some of the store-bought metal or uh, aluminum. Uh, being able to use just regular soap and water is all you need and a little scrub brush uh, to get that nice and presentable for the summertime. That's right. So what happens if we're doing some of this cleaning and we find a couple of things that need to be repaired? What do we do? Well, a lot of times you will on the deck or on your fence or gate or anything along those lines. Actually, we were getting ready for everything um, yesterday and Chelsea found a little situation here. Yeah, on the table, the board on the end had cracked and instead of replacing it with the new board, which wouldn't have matched the existing ones, I went ahead and repaired it with some wood glue. All it took was a, just a simple line of glue down the, the crack and then I cinched it up together with the small bungees and now that the glue has dried, it you can't even notice it was ever crack there. Yes, yeah, perfect way of repairing that and also when you're building furniture or repairing anything to use a good wood glue and we use tight bond three which is the ultimate wood glue for exterior or interior projects so really works very very well and also worked very well on this birdhouse for my grandson Gus. I think he'll like this. I think he's gonna like that a lot. That's cute. <laughs> this is super cute. You guys, I bet the number one question you guys are going to get from people here in Arizona is our AC is working way over time. Is there anything we can do to maybe keep that not from, you know, breaking our bank? Well, certainly, you know, um, getting the envelope of the home, the outside perimeter of the home as tight as you can with caulking, weather stripping and that type of thing. But if you're faced with choosing an air conditioning system, what the key thing there is a high sear rating. That's seasonal energy efficiency ratio. The higher the number, the lower your bill. We just installed one in this area of this house. It was an addition that many times you won't have sufficient air conditioning and heating in there, but we installed one here that had a 42 SER, so they're definitely going to be able to um, save a lot on that. It's, it's from Carrier. It's a split system, so there's one section on the wall and one section outside. It's, it's an extremely popular option all over the country, and Tina, we have a lot of that information waiting on you and your viewers at todayshomeowner.com. Well, you guys from Tina in Tucson to you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> you take care. We enjoyed being with you as always. Thanks, Tina. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.